gonna get any easier. Basically, I had a shoulder stabilization done, and the shoulder stabilization is when obviously your arm's so loose it just dislocates all the time. And then the doctors went in and fixed like some labrum tears, and the front and the back of my shoulder was like open instead of tight. So what they what they do is they tighten your whole shoulder up, and then when you first come out of the surgery, your shoulder's so tight you can't even move it, pretty much. And then you have to stretch it back to like where you want it. So this is obviously stretching it back up the top. And then when you've done the front ones, then you like do the side ones, so you're stretching it up the side. I think it's because it's such a, it's like a unstable joint anyway, so that it can move in all directions. And it was so bad. Yeah, we're just coming in for a session in the R. Right, I'm going to ride, get on my face. loose yeah like while I was injured and the doctor was like you can ride a mountain bike and stuff and then I was like how long can I ride a mountain bike for and he was like however long your shoulder can take it for and I think like the third day I got on my bike I was riding like 15 miles to Southport and uh, I've just not stopped like I, I, I like doing it when I was injured and it kept me sane and uh, yeah I'm kind of into it so I'm just carrying on doing it and it's it's cool to take a break from riding the actual BMX sometimes and doing emails and other crazy stuff that I do when I'm at home I just you know, it's nice just to put my headphones on, come down and ride my bike to some music. I like it. It's cool. Because it's like weaker than a, like a big massive weight, but this does more than a big massive weight. Like a big weight will just like build up muscle that's like on the front, but then this stuff's like more like internal, like a like a, a ligament or a tendon. This like strengthens in, inside your shoulder. Chilling in the house. I was about to sit down and watch some TV, but I'm not really a TV dude. I'm on the TV, but I'm not a TV dude. I'm um, just doing a wandering stencil, my clothing company. Basically, we're branding my warehouse, so like when I do all the how-tos and stuff for YouTube, it looks sick. And uh, right now, I'm just putting the wandering. It's a big sword with a W. It's my clothing brand. I'm the boss, I have to do the dirty work. And uh, yeah, we're just putting a stencil on the wall art, so see how it goes. Me and Santa, chilling. Instagramming. Get away, I don't want to show you the secrets. No, I'm serious. Get away, I don't want to show you the secrets. Thank you. Next, Cheers. And there you have it. There's the crep beast. Wait 12 months for these things. Every year. Get it down, me. We're a bit late for the Reader Awards in London tonight, so we're going to leave, leave Manchester now. I'm a little bit nervous, but hopefully I'll land that top spot on the park rides of the year for Rides UK Reader Awards. So, wish me luck and peace out. See what happens. UK Park Rider of the Year goes to Harry May. Let's go. Rides UK Park Rider of the Year 2013. That's a free repeat, three years in a row. Thanks to all the kids that voted for me. We're about to head back into the club and get more drunk. Peace out. Now we're off to Australia. Stay tuned for the next episodes and subscribe to Line 9. There's the play. Thank you. See ya.